Here we are once again with another episode of the Gloucester Diaries. We're doing well, Sharon Spence and company are banging in the goals, we're top of the table and today we're gonna try something funky with traps. You gotta love making promises about using traps and then you now you have to do a show around traps. Uh, here we go, Hereford, we're playing them at home. Uh, in terms of training, calendar, like I've said in my training video, I don't know if it's gone out yet, but my training is very straightforward. Aura outfield. Here we've got match practice. I'm going to probably do recovery here. Yeah. Um, actually, we don't need to do recovery. We'll just do match practice and attacking because uh, they're going to have plenty of time to recover between matches. Here, this is pointless, right? I'm not going to bother with routines, right? So we're just going to paste this here, match practice. We're going to just paste this there as well. Okay, here we go. So team selection, we are playing um, this uh, white target man, winger, AP, DM, ball winning midfielder. Okay, all right, ball winning midfielder, we're just going to do something to Evans and make him harder to reach. Uh, opposition instructions, um, positions, we got tight, we're going to tight mark the DM. All right, so that's the only change that I've made. In terms of the players today, we got Hill, Spence, Hooper, McHill, Evans, Hanks, Kasim, Rackford, Woodman, and Hamilton at the back. Um, I do expect some of our players to go. Uh, we're playing a 4-2-3-1. I'm going to try and trap them inside. So we're going to trap them inside. This is going to... We're going to try and keep this simple. I'm, I'm very ambitious here. Trap inside is an instruction that funnels play in. Now, without using the cross-engagement one, which is, uh, you know, invite crosses and uh, stop crosses, right? Th those in affect your defensive and with I'm going to do this instead so we're going to try and put a lot of pressure in the center um, or rather we're funneling play in the center so we are at home um, I'm going to start off on positive mentality and and we are we so we're paying a lot of attention to them traps man Cochrane to Z Oh, that's Calamity Hurricane. Yeah, we have got a nice name for our keeper. 10 minutes in, first shot. We're going to demand more from the boys. We're playing at home, so let's push this. Here we go. Our winger is all the way up there. All right. Oh, Evans with the ball. Goes down. Overlapping. Nope. Kasim. Now the record. Record goes long. And we're encouraging them to come inside. They fall for the trap. Sion spends to Hooper. Hooper finds Evans. Evans shoots. It's the opening goal. <laughs> <laughs> Who love it when a plan comes together? Yes, we show them inside immediately. Boom. We won the ball. And then launch a the counter. I God, love this, man. <laughs> I have to admit at the start of this, right? Because I did the intro for the video and it's going, really? You have to do traps today? <laughs> Okay, that again, he's going to be shown inside. Yeah, we could see what this happens with trap inside, right? They're all encouraged to go back inside. And this is where we're hoping to win the ball. We got hard tackle on um, the DM. Oh, good defending. Oh, he still gets in. Adekoya, calamity on the line. On the line. Now I've got only worry about uh, whether or not um, my boys are going to be fit enough to finish the game. Cranston goes. Cameron with the header well over the top. We can't do another demand more. Right? We will ease off on the shout for a while. We only have one chance and we scored from that. Hamilton to Hooper. Hooper now looks for Kasim. Kasim. <laughs> Gives the ball away. Oh, we now have to defend for our lives. Okay, all right. We're going to try and do a... Yeah, okay, we can't. I was thinking that our width wasn't narrow enough, but it is actually quite narrow. That's to help us with our counter press. Okay, heel, uh, Kasim, dressing room. This isn't good enough. Absolutely unacceptable. Mikhail to Hanks. Owens back to Hooper. The poacher plays it back to Woodman. Woodman out to Hamilton. I'm looking to see whether he has options. He goes long. I mean, that is not a bad move, actually. Yeah. I mean, if they did, didn't defend that well, we could have been in with a goal-scoring opportunity. Hill, out to Kasim. Hill, crossing the ball. It goes to Evans, but his record with a shot. The defender, very high up the pitch. Here, we, here goes Pawn. Kicks it. Oh, he's not going anywhere. Uh, they clear the ball. 
and it's going to be simple for Hamilton to gather. He gets it. <laughs> uh, what are you doing, Kasim? Kasim, Kasim, Kasim. You're scaring me, you know. Every time I think we're playing well, right? You just want to give the ball away. We're going to bring McGrogery on. <laughs> I can't, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> Sion Spence to heal. It's a great shot. Um, gathered by the keeper. We have to take Kasim off. He's giving the ball away too many times. Sion Spence. Now with a corner, he Jay Woodman, McHale, he's going to be Joe Hang setting up here. It's a second goal. Yes, set pieces are our friend. They're our friend. Okay, simply brilliant goal. Of course, questions have to be asked about the team's um, second ball. Defending, um, yeah, this, I don't know. I mean, maybe they thought the keeper should have stopped it, but seeing players just go look sideways, not very good. Yeah. Obina. Evans with the header. Out to Cochrane. Cochrane looks for options. He gets into the area. He's going to go for goal. And he strikes it. But it doesn't threaten anyone. Evans with the throw. Plays it to Sion. Spence make him. Makes it three. Thank you for the free gift. I will take it. Yes, SI. Fix this, please. I think this should be fixed, right? I mean, honestly, this is... <laughs> This is like a free gift, man. Spy on twins. And they, look at this. How is this not an issue? Right, one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, right? So there are four players against their three. Okay. They're all looking this way, but no one is running. See? All I'm standing still. Why? Why didn't you just run first? They don't. They don't try and catch up. It's too late. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I mean, I'll take free gifts because he can land anyway. You know, I could be defending and the AI is scoring goals. So yeah, in that kind of a situation, you kind of like feel, you know, it, it's gonna hurt now. <laughs> if it happens to me, I'm not complaining. We got a corner to defend, then we'll concede. No, we don't. My goodness, are we gonna have a season? Uh, gonna have a match where we don't concede from a corner? That'll be first. Rec Why is record doing that? Off the post. <laughs> I don't believe it. Man. My boys are crazy when it comes to the game of football. I, I, I don't know what to say. I'm looking left. I'm looking right. Looking for some help somewhere. Emmett now with the throw to McGregory. Out to Hamilton. Finds McGregory. McGregory to Hansey. It's four. As Gloucester make it fall. Yes, it's a brilliant day today. That trap inside against the 4 2 3 1. I don't see how the trap is influencing this phase of play, but we would like to think it does in the grander scheme under the hood, those calculations at play. Because the AP now has got no story here to tell. Yeah. Oh, it's another corner. Sion Spence will take this. This is becoming bad, man. Evans, okay, this is their best chance to score. Yeah, because now they outnumber us, but Evans does well. Cochrane has to go backwards because uh, now the trap is going to kick in. you got to come inside, boys. Okay, He finds Obina with a brilliant ball. Adekoya, <laughs> Calamity Hurricane does well. Kicks, clears McHale out to Mendes. Now goes back to Cameron. Jewett White goes long. It's a great ball to Obina. Obina has got time and space, but Adekoya can't keep the header down. Okay, we've got another throw. Does things don't look good for them whenever we have a throw here? Mikhail finds Emmett. Emmett finds Hamilton. Hamilton takes a shot. Evans loses the ball. It's good to know that we don't always score. Huh? Record. Finds McGrogry. Things have certainly looked a bit different when Mag with McGrogry taking, uh, playing. See, on my 3-1 build-up, I love 3-1 build-ups because I, guess I can put all these wonderful six players in the channel. <laughs> oh no! Provided my players can pass the ball. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> Whenever they fail to, it's, uh, you know, we're asking for trouble. But, it, you know, with this team, he can't... With this team's shoddy sh marksmanship... Uh, oh, Hamilton. Oh, no. 
we got to look at Hamilton. So we're going to bring anybody on. Kian, my son, my son. Long time no see. Come, please take your place. Yeah, Hamilton is in there. Hamil Spencer Hamilton is the only other defender now because he came back from injury. He's got some jumping reach. He's about 10 or 11. <laughs> Emmett, McGrogory. Emmett back to Tansley. Kian finds Evans. Evans shoots. On gathers the ball. On now. Looks long. Kicks. And Woodman clears the danger. Emmett takes it away from the defender, then brings gives it back to the This is the beauty of lower league football. <laughs> kind of love lower league football. I kind of miss it. Because it's so fun no, watching this happen. Because uh, the first touch sometimes is poor, right? And uh, when it happens, it kind of renews faith, uh, you know, in the game. Because uh, when you're playing at top flight, you don't often see things like this, like McGrogry feeling the need to just, you know, give the team some consolate, consolate, or whatever, you know, consolation penalty shot with Z taking it and then calamity. We know he'll dive in the wrong direction. Uh huh. And he's running with the ball in his hands, thinking there's still time for them to score three more goals. Spence with the corner. In the dying moments of the game. They deliver it. Emmett will gather the ball, but I don't think there's enough time. As the referee calls time to proceedings, it's a great performance from uh, Gloucester City as they continue their winning ways. It's 4-1. And the boys are now 10 points clear of South Shields at the top of the table. Yes. It's a great win for Gloucester City. And now... It's just a matter of driving it home. Yeah. I think right now we have uh, we got an off we had a poor start, right? Two defeats at the start of the season because we still didn't know what this team was capable of. And then we we played the 5-3-2 at the start and then we switched to this system. This system is all about goals. Yeah. We got a fantastic partnership with the three strikers. And now we're starting to add this um, Trap inside instruction. Now, the thing about trap inside is it's just funnels play, right? So what will happen is the wider players, they will just tell, you know, the opposition, hey, you know what? You can't go down the flanks. Their players will try and do things to encourage them to come inside. Now, I basically have two players on each side doing this, right? So we've got a complete forward will drop and help us to funnel play. We've got a complete wing back or funnel play inside. We've got two players here. Uh, we'll funnel play in and uh, we've d used opposition instructions as well to hard tackle every play in the center and uh, it helps if you uh, know if the system is using a DM and you think at any point in time they want to play the ball out from defense we'll shut that too so far so good the boys aren't playing badly we have uh, done okay we are now uh, top of the table We've got Sion Spence leading the goal scoring charts with 16 goals. Got Joe Hanks doing what he does best, creating goals. And um, I'm very happy with our performances. All right, so we're going to look at the Van Rama National League and we're going to try and see whether we've been scoring a lot of goals. Now, okay, basically we've scored 62 goals, right? So out of the 62 goals, we've got a goal average of 2.48, which is quite high. It was not bad. If I'm looking at direct free kicks, I scored two. Corners, I scored 10, that's 12. Um, then indirect free kicks is 7, that's uh, 19. 19 and penalties, it's 4. So altogether, I've got 23 goals from set pieces. So 23 over 62. I don't know if it's a high number. Let's go and use a simple calculator. So 37% of my goals are coming from Sources outside of open play. And we haven't even looked at throw-ins yet. So I don't know. Is this a high number? It seems like it is to me. Yes. But then this is the game. Um, hopefully, uh, some someone more intelligent than me. I don't want to offend anybody out there. But if you know more about statistics and stuff like that, just share with me whether you think this is a reasonable number. Because I am very keen to know. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Yes, we are scoring a lot of goals, but I'm beginning to feel that these goals are all coming from the same area. 
Yes, uh, the trap inside. It can be fun to use if you want to use it in the game of football, man. Just, just be aware. If you're going to play a trap inside, which is basically funding play into one area, you've got to have the kind of players in the middle to win the ball. And if you can win the ball there, the counter attacks are going to be sweet because they're going to come from the same place. They're going to come from the middle too. I hope you enjoyed today's show. You found it useful. And of course, the statistics are kind of interesting at the moment. So share with me your thoughts on whether or not 37% of goals not counting throw-ins coming from set pieces is a realistic number for the Van Rama National League. Oh, I want to know. You guys stay safe. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.